In this review I want to show you the Intel Compute Stick M3 version. The Compute Stick is available in different versions. The smallest version features an Intel Atom quad-core processor, 2GB of RAM, 32GB of storage and this version is available for around 150 euros. The M3 version, which is also tested in this video, features the Intel M3 dual-core processor, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage and this version is available for around 330 euros. And then there is also the Intel uh, M5 compute stick version. This is basically similar to the M3 version and it's just featuring the M5 dual core processor instead. And this version will set you back to around 400, uh, 520 euros. The stick itself looks like a too big thumb drive, but it easily fits in your pocket and you will also notice that it has a small fan at the top and you will also hear this fan when the stick is doing some work. At the top you'll obviously find the HDMI 1.4 port and there's also a USB 3 port and a micro SD slot on the side of the stick. And the charger connects via a USB Type-C cable and the charger itself also has USB 3 ports and two of them. Uh, in contrast, the, the smaller version, the, the Atom version, uh, has just two USB ports on the stick itself and it will connect with a micro USB cable to the charger and the charger has no uh, other ports then. So how is it like to work on a PC not much larger than a lighter? Well, it mainly depends what you're going to do. Like basic tasks like surfing the web or listening to music and so on work obviously pretty well and even some more complex tasks like image editing may work as long as you are a little patient. When the software gets more complex, obviously it will get much slower. For instance, Visual Studio will be very slow and you will easily notice that the CPU and RAM are just too slow and too less. However, when just working on small projects, it will get the job done here. The M3 stick even supports some games. Of course, you have to compromise. You usually won't get much higher than standard HD resolution and low quality pre uh, presets in the games itself. But most of the games will still run. I've tried Dota 2, which runs at around 30 to 50 FPS with low settings, Grid 2, which runs at around 40 to 50 FPS, CSGO, which still has 40 to 70 frames. It was uh, pretty. Uh, different uh, depending what what type of level you had and for instance Alien Isolation which is a pretty demanding game and it's still running at 20 to 25 frames. Only the hardware intensive GTA 5 was basically unplayable but that was to be expected. So there's still the biggest question. For which user or which type of scenario are these sticks a viable option? In my opinion, the lower end uh, Atom version makes sense for presentation monitors or maybe in your home theater for media playback, as long as you want or need Windows in this situation. The faster M3 and M5 series make sense if you work at different locations and you don't need that much of hardware. Uh, it also makes sense for uh, playing games as long as you play older games, which are usually also pretty cheap. Uh, I hope that this was a little bit of fun and you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you got questions, feel free to put it in the comments. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.